Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is our Algebra 2 Exponential Functions Lesson Number 5, The Method of Common Basis Homework Review Part 2. Uh, in Part 1, we answered a whole bunch of exponential equations uh, where we change the basis, uh, sometimes not just one side of the equation, but the basis for both sides of the equations. And so we continue with this line of questioning here. Uh, algebraically determine the intersection point of the two exponential functions shown below. Recall that most systems of equations are solved by substitution. Well, we have y equals 8 raised to x minus 1, and y equals 4 raised to 2x minus 3. And since they're both equal to y, we will begin with finding, saying the 8 to x minus 1 equal to 4 to the 2x minus 3. Actually, I'm going to move this over to a little bit of the side. Oops. Move this over. And the reasoning is because they're both equal to y, we can do this now. So here we have a question very similar to our first question where we have an exponential equation where we have left side equals right side. We want the bases equal to each other. And we know that 8 can be written as not really 4 to a certain power, but 2 to the power of 3. And we also know that 4 as a base and written as 2 to the power of 2. Changing our equation here to be 2 to the third power raised to x minus 1 is equal to 2 to the second power raised to 2x minus 3. And now we have left side and right side equal to each other with, with the bases equal to each other. We will distribute our exponents using our laws of exponents, our our power rule in this case, when you raise a power another power, we multiply the exponents. And so we'll have 2 to the 3x minus 3 equals 2 to the 4x minus 6. And if the left side and the right side are equal to each other, then we'll set the exponents equal to each other. So we'll get the equation of 3x minus 3 equals 4x minus 6. We'll subtract 3x from both sides and add 6 to both sides, where we'll see the 3x's cancel out on the left and the 6's cancel out on the right. Negative 3 plus 6 is positive 3, while 4x minus 3x is x equals 3. So we have found the x value that will work for both. Now, we will now plug this into one of the equations to solve for y. Now, which one should we use? Well, we can use the first one. And so we have y is equal to 8, replacing the x with 3 minus 1. And 3 minus 1 is 2, so y is equal to 8 squared, or 64. So the intersection point will be 64. So our point, well, actually in this case, x equals 3 and y equals 64. And this is our point intersection. If we were to plug in the 3 into the second one here, we should get the same thing. y is equal to 4 times 2 times 3 minus 3, or 4 to the y is equal to 4 to the 6 minus 3 is the third power, which is equal to 64. So it's the same coordinate here. So the point intersection would be 3 comma 64 for this system of equations. Okay. Question three. Algebraically determine the zeros of the exponential function f of x equals 2 raised to 2x minus 9 minus 32. Recall that the reason it's known as a zero is because the output is zero. So here, to find the zero, f of x has to equal to zero. So we're looking for the x value that makes the function equal zero. So we're going to set 2 to the 2x minus 9 minus 32 equal to 0. Now we'll add 32 to both sides. And we'll get the equation 2 to the 2x minus 9 equals 32. So 32, well, we can change this into base 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32 making this 2 to the 5th power. So our equation now will be 2 to the 2x minus 9 
equals 2 to the fifth. And now that the bases are equal to each other, we'll set the exponents equal to each other. So we'll get 2x minus 9 equals 5, adding 9 to both sides. 2x is equal to 14. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 7. So the 0 for this function will be 7. Now, why is this? Now, if we check against this, we do 2 times 7 is 14, minus 9 is 5. And 2 to the fifth power is 32. And 32, times, 32 minus 32 will give us that 0. One hundred must be raised to what power in order to equal a million cubed? Solve this problem using method of common basis. Show the algebra you need to find your solution. Okay, well, here's the thing. One hundred to some power is equal to, I'll use this maybe a x here. So one hundred to the x power is equal to 1 million cubed. So that's actually six zeros. Oops, six zeros. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Cubed, so that's raised to the third power. Well, a couple of things. Um, I personally like changing everything to a smaller base. And so the base that will work for both of these is going to be base 10. So base 10 would give us, so 100 actually, 100 would be equal to 10 to the second power. And 1 million, and the reason why I use base 10 is because just counting zeros. So notice the 100, there were two zeros here. So 10 to the second. For 1 million, there are six zeros here. So 1 million is basically 10 to the 6th power. And so now we have 10 squared to the x power is equal to 1 million is 10 to the 6th raised to the 3rd. And now, because they have the same base, we can multiply the exponents. So we have, because they're 10 squared raised to, two, to x power is 10 to 2x. And 10 to the 6 raised to the third, we 10 to the 6 times 3, or 18. And because they have the same base, equal to each other, their exponents are equal to each other. So we'll have 2x is equal to 18, divide both sides by 2, x is equal to 9. So we'll raise the 100 to the ninth power, will equal to 1 million cubed. That's us using our laws of exponents. Okay? This will be the end of our homework review for our lesson five, the method of common basis, or part two. Um, if you found this, this review helpful, this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, turn on notifications to know when new videos are added. And of course, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave comments, leave comments in the question and questions in the comment section below. All right, just want to make sure hopefully we can figure out ways to make the videos better for you and your learning experience to be better. Thank you so much for watching. Look out for our next video for our part three. We, and we go over question number five and hopefully see if we get question number six done too at the same time. In any case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Take care and be safe.